Hi folks, next from GalaxyNote2.com for this week's AT&T T-Mobile Sprint Verizon GTN 7105 and Canadian Galaxy Note 2 AOSP ROM of the week. Um, and the reason why I don't have a touch -based ROM for those of you AT&T T-Mobile GTN 7105 and Canadian is because uh, there is a newly released KitKat ROM for the GTN 7105. Now it can only be installed on GTN 7105 at this point so probably by next week we should have it ported to all of the AT&T T-Mobile um, Canadian Galaxy Note 2's so for this week we're gonna go ahead and go with AICP ROM here now this is an Android 4.4.2 KitKat ROM a full AOSP ROM for those of you who don't know what AOSP stands for go google it uh, you'll find my video explanation at highonandroid.com uh, go check it out this ROM I really really like it um, also for Sprint users before I begin the ROM overview here uh, Sprint users uh, AOSP ROMs in general, starting with KitKat, um, you might get bad signals with 4G LTE. This is just an issue with AOSP code. Uh, I don't know when the developer is going to fix it, uh, but basically your 4G LTE signals are not as strong when you install AOSP ROMs. That's why a ton of Sprint users are having problems with Note 2, S3, uh, all kinds of phones. Uh, some of the newer phones might actually not be affected, but the Note 2 and the S3 um, affected. So do know that if you get very uh, bad 4G LTE signals and uh, if you absolutely need 4G LTE all the time, um, definitely stick with the TouchWiz ROM. Uh, for those of you with at t Mobile, everything else, Verizon, GTN 7105, and Canadian, you're good to go. 4G LTE works just fine on the AOSP ROMs. Um, let me go ahead and go over this ROM here. I've got uh, AICP ROM Android 4.4.2 along with a custom kernel. I highly suggest a custom kernel. It makes it so much faster. Your experience is so much better. You can customize it, overclock it, overclock your GPU. Um, Acne kernel, this is my favorite kernel. I uh, love this kernel. This is the OC kernel. It also comes with Acne Control. Let me go ahead and pop this up real quick. Um, and uh, let me kind of go over the kernel real quick and make your phone much, much faster. Um, I wouldn't really mess with the main profiles here. Uh, the, what, the thing I would mess with is the governor. Now, the default is Pegasus Q. It's kind of laggy and slow. Um, and if you need to save battery life, you, you can go with the battery saving mode. Um, there and also you can even try one core it's only going to use one core on your phone so that's going to save you a lot of battery life i have some good success with pegasus plus so definitely a good governor there and uh, another good governor might be uh, loads active q and a loads active q mod so go ahead and try the different governors and see which one performs the best for the app you're using if you're gaming play the game with the different governors and find out which one performs the best um, but for me, Pegasus Q Plus seems to be really zippy. And uh, for overclocking, I do overclock it to 1.704. That's my recommended. That's going to give you slight overclocking without draining your battery too much. And also, I do undervolt uh, my phone minus 10 millivolts. That's going to allow me to overclock all of this while saving minus 10 millivolts on every different frequency. Um, so I might actually have better battery life than those running stock. Um, so those three things, the governor, the frequency, undervolting, that's going to make your phone faster while not sacrificing your battery life. And also, if you play a lot of games, you can go ahead and overclock. Um, you can try these last three settings here, which will give you even uh, better performance with your graphics. And also, you can even try undervolting. Now, do test one at a time just, to, uh, you know, just so you know that it actually works. Also, if you want to charge faster, um, I do recommend going from default 1700 milliamps to 1900 milliamps. Um, and there's a bunch of stuff um, you can mess with here. Uh, if you don't know what it is, I wouldn't mess with it. But uh, if you want to play with it, go ahead and play with it uh, on your free time. Uh, but with that setting, my phone is pretty darn fast. I love it. Um, and also the camera, there is an issue. Um, if you don't install the AOSP camera fix, your camera might be laggy. But I did install the camera fix. This ROM does come with uh, the Google, the latest Google camera. And let's try the photosphere. Now the photosphere might give you black when you first run it. Um, just ignore it, just reboot once, and then it should work after that. Uh, but uh, as far as camera and the video, it works just fine. Oh, maybe not. Okay, the first time you run it, it might be a little buggy. Yeah, there we go. Um, it's fine. 
I think it's uh, it was actually um, doing the photosphere and then it kind of crashed with it. Um, it also, when you do install the camera fix, you'll get the regular AOS camera, which actually works flawless. This one does not have photosphere, but it works super fast. Um, nice uh, recording works taking photos while taking videos works just flawless. Make sure you install the camera fix, otherwise you're gonna get a laggy camera. Uh, let's actually go into the ROM now. Now AICP ROM is a ROM that's pretty much AOKP ROM, uh, like an AOKP ROM, uh, but it has AICP extras. So inside ROM control, you'll find all of your favorite AOKP ROM control settings. I do have a full tutorial guide on this. You can customize everything from your lock screen to your navigation bar navigation ring, ribbons, uh, animations, all that good stuff. Now what this ROM does is adds AICP extras, uh, which adds all of these other features, Halo, Omni Switch, uh, custom system animation, slider shortcuts, active display, tile colors, uh, app bar, gesture anywhere, connection manager, all these things. Kernel tweaker, kernel tweaker, sorry it's getting late here, um, is uh, sort of like AI Agni control for your kernel. I wouldn't really use that, I will just use the Agni control. Uh, make it simpler uh, but overall I really love it um, it is a very very fast ROM a ton of features and like I told you if you do install the kernel the camera fix it's just nearly flawless and I really like it so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week uh, and do let me know what you think and uh, I'm not gonna obviously go over all of these features that's gonna be your homework um, go ahead and install it go ahead and customize the heck out of it see what you can do see what the slider shortcuts do um, if you never used ROM control do go ahead and see my tutorial first and then go ahead and uh, you know make your shortcuts uh, for your lock screen um, this one actually does not have it because the lock screen stuff is actually over here slider shortcuts uh, add your shortcuts and all that good stuff uh, but overall AICP ROM I've been running this ROM on some of my other uh, phones and another great ROM and if you ask me which one's the best I mean all of these ROMs are great um, but uh, some of them have slightly different features depending on what you prefer um, you know you may want to go with something else than this one but this is another great one you cannot go wrong with one so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week I uh, love this ROM and uh, highly recommend it for your um, Galaxy Note 2 I don't know what happened there Oh, I think I, ch I changed something, and uh, it's, I changed the lock screen there. Oh, I had it, I accidentally uh, took that on, and I think that's what happened, and I had that lock thing. Oh, there we go. Now it's normal. Anyway, check it out for this week's ROM. League. I love this ROM. You will love it, too, and I will see you guys soon. As always, if you have Galaxy Note, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at rootgalaxynote.com. If you have a Note 2, it is... Uh, GalaxyNote2.com. If you have a Note 3, it's GalaxyNote3root.com. If you have a Note 4, it'll be GalaxyNote4root.com. I bought it all the way to GalaxyNote20root.com, so I'll be around for 20 years. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, have a great day. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.